This is All India Radio Shillong, the North East News Bulletin read by Rahul Chatterjee. Here is an announcement. As India created history by administering more than 100 crore doses of vaccine against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the doctors, nurses, other frontline workers and all those who got vaccinated and made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask. Maintain do ghaz ki duri for social distancing. Focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline Numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075. And the helpline for Meghalaya is 108 and 1070. And now, the news in detail. In Assam, 95% eligible people have taken the first jab of the vaccine against COVID-19. Talking to AIR correspondent, Director of National Health Mission, Dr. Lakshmanan S., said that overall 2.89 crore vaccines have been administered so far. The health department will start a door-to-door vaccination campaign to cover the left-out people. He hoped that in the next two weeks, all those eligible persons who are yet to take the vaccine would be covered. Dr. Lakshmanan said that there was no adverse impact on the COVID-19 situation following the reopening of schools across Assam. All COVID protocols are being followed while conducting classes. The mission director added that though there were reports of COVID positive cases from five to six schools, the health department is in full alert to tackle any situation if required. Meghalaya reported one COVID-19 related death yesterday, that of a person who was not vaccinated tallying the number of fatalities to 1,458. The Directorate of Health Services informed through a statement that the state recorded 36 new COVID-19 cases, which added up to 363 active cases. The state also reported 49 more cases of recovery, which surged the number of recovered cases to 82,042. Till yesterday, 11,12,925 persons had taken the first dose and 6,79,438 received the second dose of COVID-19 vaccine in Meghalaya. Prepaid metering will be made mandatory in Nagaland by December 2023, said advisor to Power Department Tovihoto Aemi. He said the consumers will have to mandatorily install prepaid meters in every house. Mr. Ayami urged the public to be mentally prepared for installing the prepaid metering system in their houses. He also stated that the power department will launch a social media platform for addressing the grievances and updating the general public. There is considerable concern in Tura and its adjoining areas in the West Garo Hills of Meghalaya where dengue cases continue to be reported over the last two weeks. The district administration held a review meeting with health officials on the rising cases of dengue. Cases have been reported in Tura town with the highest number of infections detected in the areas of Hawakana and the Tura Civil Hospital. In the light of spiraling dengue cases, West Garo Hills Deputy Commissioner Ram Singh convened a meeting with the District Vector Bond Disease Control Officer and the representatives of the localities. The DC urged the concerned authorities to, look, to closely monitor the situation and to take preventive measures in both urban and rural areas in order to check the spread of dengue. He also informed that a testing centre for dengue is functional at the Tura Civil Hospital. And Union Power Minister R.K. Singh has said that National Thermal Power Corporation Limited NTPC is a special company and the largest provider of energy to the country. Addressing the 47th Raising Day of NTPC in New Delhi yesterday, Mr. Singh outlined the company's achievements, expertise, future goals and also discussed its role in leading India's energy transition. He appreciated NTPC for passing on approximately 4,500 crore rupees to states in the last financial year by optimizing energy charges. The Power Minister stressed that NTPC has to add capacity as the country needs to keep pace with the ever-growing demand for energy. And with that, we in the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day. Mm-hmm.